Welcome team to another fit, strong, and sweaty workout. Today's follow along will have your muscles quaking, your sweat dripping, and your heart thumping. It's a full body strength and conditioning workout that uses single sets, supersets, and EMOM every minute on the minute to give you the most out of a 30 minute workout. The workout is broken up into these various segments to keep things moving along so time will fly by. Yay! You'll need to grab a variety of dumbbells to clear some space and let's get All to right, it. All right, hello team. It is time to get started. I'm super excited to be here. Today's workout has a little bit of everything from from single sets to supersets to EMOM, which is every minute on the minute. So this workout is going to fly by with the way that I've uh, broken it up. For your weights, I'm gonna be using somewhere between 15 to 30 pounds. I know that seems like a wide range, but that's what we get with the full body. Um, if you may even be using tins today for some of the shoulder work that we have, all right? Let's go ahead and warm up real quick. I'm also going to be using a box here, my little plyo box. If you have one, a stepper will work with risers, a sturdy chair or bench as well. Otherwise, I will have a modification for you today. So no worries. No worries if you don't have that piece of equipment. But if you do have an in-home gym that you've been working out from, highly recommend getting one. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go ahead with that lateral squat or lunge type position here with a reach and over to the other side, a little slide. You can rotate with me looking up towards that hand if it feels good, side to side. We just have about five minutes of a warm up today. If you need more, please take it, pause me, find a little sweat before you get started today. Ooh, here we go. Some days I need more than others. Three, two, and one. We're gonna hinge ha hands behind the head, hello. Push those hips back with stiff legs, but soft knees with a big inhale. Exhale with a squeeze on the glutes to stand. There we go. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the navel in and up. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Draw in and up. Good. That's it. Trying to get your body parallel or tabletop position to the floor there. Three, two, and one, let's go to the floor and warm up that chest. We're just gonna walk it out to a high plank and walk it back in and we're staying low to the floor. Just 30 seconds here, team, move at your pace. Woo, there we go. Little core in this high plank, little chest and shoulders as we walk it out, feels good. We're gonna move a little bit here, coming up, team. Three, two, and one. Here we go, we're just gonna kick side to side here, okay? A little pendulum, nice and low, nice and easy, kind of on the balls of those feet. Just revving up the heart rate a bit. There we go. We'll go into a little march, cross knee march. Just follow my lead. The windows will not be popping up until we start our strength, so just watch me and get moving. Three, two, and one. Here we go. March and cross that knee. Back and forth, that's all we're doing. 30 seconds here, march and cross. Here we go. Woo, feeling it already. <laughs> I have been tired these last few days. How about you? Tell me, how's your energy? It comes and goes. This is why I tell you, work at your 10 for the day. Modify where needed. Every day is different. Three, two, and one, we're gonna skate. You can tap side to side if you'd like, okay? Right here, side to side. If you want, we can do that little hop into that skate. Or you can jump and stick it if you'd like, okay? A little bit more dynamic there. You do you. I'm gonna keep moving a little bit faster just to bring that heart rate up. Woo, here we go. Remember, you don't have to jump, just tap and tap. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go back to that little pendulum here, side to side. We're gonna repeat this little circuit here. These three exercises one more time, just making sure we're warm, we're energized, we're ready to go. Nice work. Woo. And here we can just tap out, all right? Tap it out if you need to. You do you, modify, find your challenge. Here we go, three, two, and one, cross knee hit. There you go. That's 
it, team. Woo. Movement is work. Get moving throughout the day. I've been challenging everyone to move to two minutes minimum, at minimum, maybe five, maybe 10. Some of you may want to do 20 after your meals, after big meals, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, skate or tap it out, okay? Back and forth. A little bit of skate, a little bit of that hop, side to side, moving laterally. Practice moving laterally. People are like, I don't need to, I don't do that. But you might, you might have to step and turn. You might fall and trip to the side. Trust me, it will happen. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right, we have our first exercise here. We're going with a step up. I'm gonna use my box. We have Ipsy. Uh, lateral, that means we're gonna hold the weight on the side of the leg we're using, okay? I'm gonna go with a 20 on this. We're gonna step up with that right foot first, team. Here we go, three, two, and one. I'll face you a little bit. And we're gonna march it up and down. Right foot up, left foot down. Right, left, left, right, okay? That's the way we wanna do it. Right foot up, left. Right up, left, left down, right. So that trailing leg, the last leg to tap up is the one to come back down. Staying with this right side for now. You got it. Three, two, and one. Excellent, we're gonna switch to that left side now. Left foot goes up first, it's our lead leg. Weight on the left shoulder. Three, two, and one. If you wanna go into that front squat, our front rack hold, you can hold it here. You'll feel that bicep kicking in. I like that one. Woo! Sweating already. Oh, <laughs> I wish we had that fan. Good. Left, right, right, left. Say it to yourself. Left, right, right, left. Three, two, and one. Other side. Again, I'm gonna hold it front. You can rest it on your shoulder if you want. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Right. Good. Right. Left. Left. Right. That's it, team. I want you to stand all the way. Drive through your heel. The big exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Drive that heel into the box. You want to pra practice balance? Leave that back leg off the box. Otherwise, tap it up. Woo! Three, two, and one. Switch. Left hand. Left side, here we go. Three, two, and one. Left, up. I'm gonna leave that leg behind, that trailing right leg. Just balancing, still getting tall. Still stepping tall here. Up high, extending through the hips. Here you go, heel into the box. Here you go, or whatever you're stepping onto today. Hopefully you saw that modification window with the reverse lunge. Three, two, and one. There we go, other side. So some of you may be without the box doing that reverse lunge. Three, two, and one. Here we go, and we're up. Third round already, this is how you bang it out. You show up, you get it done. We have EMOM next. Another way to just quickly work every minute on the minute. We'll be there for five though, five good minutes. Woo, you got it team. Up and down. I'm gonna go back to that balance and down. Drive in to the heel. Ooh, blow that air out. Three, two, and one. Great job. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, and one. And we're up. Good. So, we're we'll talking about breath a lot, making sure we're breathing as we contract so up here with that exhale we think about core and everything we do i want you to draw that belly button in and up as we work here there you go three two and one all right just 20 seconds here we're going into our swings i'm going to use a 35 
believe. Maybe a 25 to start. First one, 25, 30. I'm gonna go 30. I'm indecisive today. We're gonna swing. We have 15 or 20 swings here. Three, two, and one. I have my fingers interlaced here. If you have a kettlebell, use your kettlebell. Two, we have one minute to get 20 in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, great job. So we have about 25 seconds of rest here. We're trying to get 20 of these in on a minute. If you don't feel recovered enough, or it's just not enough time and you're feeling really high heart rate, maybe take this down to 15 uh, reps instead and allow a little bit more rest time, okay? Here we go. Round two coming up. We have five of these. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Weight is right under the body. You're gonna squeeze and pop those hips. The shoulders are not raising the weight. They're just swinging, okay? But they're down. Keep that chin back. Exhale with the swing. Squeeze the glutes. Drive the heels in. Woo! There you go. Oh, I wish I was counting. Anybody know where we are? <laughs> Count 20 of them. Let's go three more. Three, two, and one. Good job. I'm going to go up on weight just a bit. I'm going to try a 35 here. Make sure it's challenging enough. I'll count next time. Less instruction, more counting. All right. Here we go. 10 seconds. Woo, team. Heart rate's high. We're working on it. A little conditioning here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, great job. Woo, a little less than 30 seconds of rest here, team. You're doing great. Two more rounds to go. Have a sip of water if you want. My water and my towel are missing today. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days, right? I'm just like you. It's like show up. Get it done, set up, get it done. This is why this is a short workout for us, so we can get in and get it done, because life happens. Three, two, and one. Here we go, number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. 30 seconds. Getting a little faster. All right. Last one, I believe. Coming up here. Yes, it is. We have just 20 more reps. We'll have a little extra rest here today. Then we're moving on. All right. We'll bring the heart rate down with a chest and a back exercise. And that will be our super set. We'll work back and forth. We have seven seconds here. Here we go. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Even faster. I think I was ooh, ooh, ready to get it done. <laughs> All right, excellent team. That is it for our swings. A little power move there on the posterior chain. Got the heart rate up, a little conditioning as well. We have about 15 more seconds left on this minute. Grab a sip of water. 
We're gonna relax here for about 20 seconds, just enough to set up and do our next move. And I'm gonna use my box for this as well. You do not have to do the balancing move here with the leg up. Just look at my modification, okay? So you can go here. I'm gonna use a 20. And then we are gonna go to the floor with a single arm press. And for that one, I'm gonna try A30. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, set it down here and get it ready to go. Here we go, three, two, and one. We're rowing team. We have about 30 seconds on each side here. I'm working a little balance here, a little core stability. Actually, ooh, with that leg up as high as you can get it. And because we have so much core in this move, Three, two, and one. I decided that we would go with that superset to the floor with the chest. All right, other side here. I'll turn around so you can see. Here we go. Three, two, and one. The rowing team. Ooh, that's it. Keep that leg up if you're there. If not, just go supported, foot down. It's all good, all right? That just feels like too much on the body today where we can't focus on that row because the balance is so off. Don't worry about it. Get the row in, work that weight. Three, two, and one rest. Okay, we're going to the floor now. Single arm chest press, right, and then left. Woo, here we go team. Grab that weight, we're gonna lay down on our back. If you have a bench, great, use it. Here we go, three, two, and one. Right arm only, press. Good. Exhale with the press. Inhale with the release. Ooh, I didn't expect to be sweating already so much today. <laughs> oh. Good. Let's get two more in. One more. Three. Two and one. We're gonna switch that left hand. Same thing here. Three, two, and one. Down to the side and press. Good. One, two. I still count. I can't help but count all the time. Doesn't mean that I don't get it wrong sometimes. <laughs> Even though we're on this timer, I like to know did I get the same amount in? I'm really trying to get the same reps in as the other side. Let's have us on a timer so we can all. Kind of move together and flow. Woo, two more for me. Three, two, and one. Excellent. All right. Keep that weight out. We're going to be going to that uh, woo, row here, okay? Right arm, then left. Again, supported here, foot down or foot up. Three, two, and one, one, good, good. We're exhale when we row, inhale to release. Try to keep that leg up, it'll fall, it'll fall because you're thinking about everything else. Keep it up there, use that left glute, draw the navel in and up. There's a lot going on here. Yes, there is. People get frustrated with that. That's frustrating you, put that foot down and forget all that noise. <laughs> There we go, time. We're switching to the other side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Again, all this comes in time, right? These combination things where we have a lot that our brain is working on. When I begin with a client, we don't start here. All right, we even start on a bench supported, at an incline supported. And then as we get movement and form and strength, we start to add these other elements in to challenge ourselves. Three, two, and one. So it's okay to go here today. All right, back to the floor team. We have that chest press, right, left. Gosh, this is gonna go quick. So quick, you're not even gonna believe it. Here we go. Right side, three, two, and one. Push and press. Exhale. 
Hopefully you're enjoying these workouts. If you are, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel. It helps me keep this going. All right. And I'm not the only person working on these. My husband puts a lot of hours into these videos as well on top of his full-time job as a videographer and photographer. So any help there is appreciated. Three, two, and one, other side. With that being said, enjoying lifting weights. Three, two, and one. I know more and more women are lifting weights, which I love seeing. It's very important to keep that muscle mass for metabolism, for mobility, for strength, for good movement, for feeling better, confidence. It's all there. And I think sometimes we have a misunderstanding of what weightlifting is based on maybe what we learned in high school which says it was just this Olympic lifts, powerlifting type stuff. Three, two, and one, okay? Or maybe we have, it's the opposite. We think it's just this aerobics thing where you use five and eight pounds all the time. Not true, okay? We're somewhere in the middle there. And we can make it fun and interesting um, so that we can enjoy it somewhat. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Here we go, Rose. I love it. What can I say? I love it, but... It changed me in high school. Uh, I have a story about that. I don't know that I've shared it. Maybe I'll share that with you all in a little short. There we go. Too long to go to it now. Keep that leg up, team. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Good. You got it. Woo! Three, two, and one. Who's feeling that on the third round? I know I am. Three, two, and one. Other side team, gosh, I just want this to last. I wanna be here all day with you. We need an hour workout. Let me know what time frames you like. I ask it a lot, I get a lot of different comments. 30, because it's quick. Maybe 45, because you feel like you get more in. Maybe an hour. Let me know and we'll, we'll bring those to you. Whew. There you go, rear foot up, three, Oops, sorry, we're not there yet. Here we go, three, two, and one, rest. All right, team, back to the floor. Last one here. Put my box out of our way. Woo. All right, last one here, you've got it. All right, three, two, and one. Push. And I always bring in the core. I know we're at the floor. I like to do this on a ball or a bench. You feel that tug to the side a little bit more, but we can feel it here, right? That weight to the side wants to pull us over. I want you to squeeze the glutes. I want you to exhale and draw the navel in and up. And I want you to tighten up a little bit and resist that little pull, that rotation that wants to happen here. Three, two, and one. Other side. It's good practice. Here we go, three, two, and one, left arm, push, exhale, good, that's it. Dash team, right after this one, we go into that every minute on the minute, and we have five rounds, so five minutes, and we're done. We're gonna stretch it out today. Exhale, draw in and up, on the exhale. Inhale down, exhale to push, draw in and up, tighten up, flatten out here. Woo, squeeze the glutes, push the feet in, stabilize. Three, two, and one, excellent. All right, that feels amazing. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're talking about, Tatum. All right, thrusters are a squat to press. Ooh, ooh, that's not where that one goes, without um, any rest in between. All right, or pause. If you have light weight, you'll need to pause. I'm gonna try 20s, three, Two, and one, we're gonna go for 10 of these. So squat to press, reset. Two, get that squat in there. Three, four, five, six, smile, you got this. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, whoo, one more, and 10. Excellent, all right team. If you're having trouble sitting back on those, 
Grab your chair, grab your box, tap down there so you feel comfortable sitting back. I want that squat. All right, it's easy to kind of go forward and feel scared to sit back, so use a box or a chair. Here we go, round two, three, two, and one. 10 of these, here we go. One, I don't know how long I keep up on my 20s. Oh, I'll talk about that modification as we go. You may have to drop the weights, pick up some lighter weights to get those 10 in, and that's okay. Four, I'm somewhere in between today, probably 17 and a half. Five, which I don't have. Everybody's like, I don't have a 12. I don't have a 17 and a half. Woo, pick up, use a heavy weight till it's too much, and switch it out. Two more for me. Nine, one more for me. And 10. Holy moly, rest. Not a lot of rest, but rest. About 20 seconds here. We're going on to round three. You can do it, just modify that weight, but still challenge yourself. You can do five with the heavy weight and then drop it, do that. Here we go here, we have seven seconds. Woo. Use those legs, three, two, and one. I know those shoulders get tired and we forget about the legs and the core. We're trying to press alone with the shoulders and that's not gonna happen. All right, so I want you to really use the legs, power it up. Like you want to throw those weights to the ceiling using your legs. Like you might even go into a jump, all right? Three more here. Two more. I'm sorry, I could be off count. I think that's about right. There might be one more there. Next time I'll count. You've got all the tools you need now. All right, a couple more rounds and we're done, all right? With the 30 minute, we want to progress. We want the intensity maybe to be a little higher. We're not in here as long. Get the most out of this that we can. I think we're doing it right here. The squat to press. We used our shoulders and our chest. We used our legs when we used our legs. We're combining it all together. Three, two, and one. Here we go. It's a great combination. This might be... How many times have I told you this is my top five? <laughs> Oh, I probably have more of a top 10. All right, four, I'm gonna count here before I lose track. Five, inhale on the down. Exhale, six, even if you raise up on your toes to get there, do it. Seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, I'm pretty sure I was off last time. One more, and 10, excellent. All right, don't get too hung up on those things. I know I have clients that are very particular, like, is it this, is it that? They want the specifics. It's got to be a certain way. We're moving. We're working. We're out of breath. Our muscles are fatigued. We're doing something. If we're finding it challenging, we're making the change. Three, two, and one. Last round, team one. Let's do this. Two, three. Good. Come on. Four, don't give up. Five, woo, halfway here. Six, you got it. Seven, three more. Eight, oh, a little pause. And we go nine, one more, and 10. If you have more to do, do them now. It's okay, keep working. That's it for today. Oh, kudos to you for showing up for this one. Please let me know what you think, if you, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. I try to think about these as we, as I write these workouts. Three, two, and one, that was your minute. We have seven minutes here, let's just breathe for a second. Anyways, let me know what's working for you, what's not. Helps me write these. What kind of equipment do you wanna see that maybe I haven't used? What do you want to see more of? Um, I'm here for you, okay? And although I will make you do your burpees and things you don't love doing because that's why I'm here, I can still tailor some of these workouts to you. If you really want a personalized plan, let me know. We can set you up with an app and we can work together to really individualize your workouts. Right, one more big in breath, uh, big breath in. <laughs> 
through your nose. This is what happens when the oxygen leaves your brain. And exhale. Excellent. Let's get the shoulders here today. Let's first start with our hands on our shoulders, crisscross. We'll go left arm down, right arm up. And we're just going to move up and down here. Let's move through that. There you go. A little hug for yourself. There you go. Woo wee. Feels good. Never regretted a workout. Never. Can't remember. Maybe when I got on my bike and blew a tire out on the road. Maybe then. But even then, not really. I got out there and I get back out there. Good. Let's switch. Right arm on bottom, left on top, up and down again. Got to loosen up here. Whoo, after all those presses. And the shoulder, or the chest presses as well. There we go. Give me three more. Three. Oh, I love this kind of sweat. And one, good. Bring that left arm across the body. Right arm's out in front here. Look away, shoulders out of the ears. Give it a little hug, a little squeeze here. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, one more in. And out. Excellent. Other side. Please don't leave me if you have time for this stretch. Please stay here, okay? A lot of people, especially if you're new, as you build strength, um, you will feel a little tighter, okay? You want to keep your mobility, flexibility around those joints so that you can squat deep. You can reach down to the ground. You can get back up. All right, we can move way over our shoulders safely by our ears and not out in front for the reasons why, okay? They keep us safe. All right, there you go. That's it. I just want to talk about all this stuff. Let's go ahead. We're going to interlace our fingers. If you have a towel or a band to grab on, that will give you more range for that chest stretch. But reach for me. Excellent. Ooh. Big breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, okay? Why breathe here? Because we are tense. Stretching is hard, all right? Our muscles are resisting it because they're tight. And a big breath in and out can help relax, okay? Help you to relax, help the muscles to relax, help to send signals to your brain that it's okay. Just take it easy here. Nice work. Let's go with that quad stretch, okay? I'm going to go with a standing, grabbing that ankle. Maybe you have to grab a little tabs on the back of your shoes. All right, those can work. And we're going to hug it in here. You want to try to keep that knee in close to the body if it'll go there. And we want to stand tall, not lean forward, okay, to get that stretch. Nice and tall. Again, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Take time to slow down. I get it. I like to go, go, go. It's hard. Sometimes being connected to our breath connects us to some emotions as well. That's okay. Let it go. Oh, I've been an emotional wreck lately, and it's okay. <laughs> oh, sent a daughter off to college. It's all good. She's happy. That's all that matters. All right, other side. Same thing. Turn towards you. You don't have to balance. Hold on to something. I would rather you, at this point, get that good stretch and not have to worry. I want you to focus on breathing, relaxing as much as you can in the standing stretch. And although we're only going through these uh, stretches once. Highly recommend that you can you can spend a minute to two minute on your stretches. The longer the better for now. If you're very tight through some of these, let's go into a side bend. We're just going to reach on over. Feet are wider than shoulder width. Maybe you look up. Maybe it feels better to look down. Stretch it out and breathe. So at some point we'll go too deep maybe, and we have a hard time expanding the diaphragm and breathing. So come out of it just a little bit. Make sure you have that breath there. Other side. A lot of times we want to rush these stretches, but resetting feels really good. Let's come back down. I always tell people when they have a hard workout with me that the stretch helps them forget 
how hard the workout was. You leave on this relaxed, good note versus what you were feeling at the time of the workout, which is great. That helps you show up next time. <laughs> we're going to go with a Z sit here. One of my very, very favorite hip stretches here. You want a 90 degree bend in that front leg. So my heel is towards my knee instead of inside my thigh. This leg, you can come back here with a 92, try to get that 90 degree bend. We're going to put our hand outside the foot and knee, and we're going to extend here at the back and just hinge over. But we want to keep that long, neutral spine. For those of you who are there, we can kick back. Stay in that Z-sit or maybe kick back into that pigeon with an extended leg behind and hold. Find your breath. This is a stretch that I love to hold forever. <laughs> Good. Let's turn around. I have shaky arms. Anybody else? Let's come over again here. Find that 90-90. Sit tall. Hand outside the foot and the knee. Nice and long through the spine. You can keep hinging forward as long as you can stay neutral and not rounded. If you want, follow me into that kickback here into pigeon, but you don't have to today. That Z-sit is usually plenty. It gets the job done. Couple big breaths here. We're at time, but I want two big breaths. My timer is saying, you are done. Nice work. Excellent. Oh, what a day. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel better having slowed down, stretched after that workout. You're feeling elevated, um, tired, maybe a little flustered, the heart is going. So if nothing else, if you're like, oh, stretching is so boring, sure, maybe it is to you, but it will make you feel so good, and it will make you better here in these workouts, okay? So keep it up. I'll see you next time. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.